We are now going to create a new database, so a new DVG, and we will put some objects in it. We will use a command create DVG. First, we are going to make a pointer to a new database, to the block table. Then we, we are going to open block table for reading. Then we are going to make a pointer to a block table record. Then we are going to open block table record for writing in the model space. Now we're closing the block table. We don't need it anymore. And now we are going to insert two circles, circle one and two, with center normal vector and radius. Now we are going to append the first and the second circle to the block table record. And we are going to close the first and the second circle and then block table record. This is a way we insert multiple objects into the block table. Okay. At the end, we save the database to a, we will call it, call it drawing to DVG. Okay. So let's test that. We will call create DVG. I will already load everything. So we call, okay, we open the drawing too. We will close it now. No, we don't want to save it. So we open, we close the, uh, and now we, we created a drawing to DVG database with two objects. Okay. In this recording, we will also read that database. So this, this is uh, quite useful if we want to export some of the, whatever we need from the database. This is an example. We are making a command read DVG. So here we open, make a pointer uh, to a new database. Uh, we are reading the DVG file like this. Pointer to the block table, open for reading, block table record pointer. We're getting from the model space the block table record for reading. We don't need block table anymore, so we close it. We need the block table record iterator. We make a pointer to it. We call a new iterator. We make a pointer to an entity. And then we iterate through the block table records. Uh, we get the entity here and we print it then. So we can see what we have in the DVG, then we close the block table record, delete the block table record iterator and de delete the database. Let's see what we have made from this. Read DVG. Okay. As we can see, we have two circles that are in the database. Let's now open the drawing tool and see what, so we can see two circles. Okay. What if we delete this circle and like use our pre-made functions like draw a circle and let's draw a line. Okay. We save it. Let's see now read dvg and so we have two circles and a line we can use this to export it to an excel sheet or json or, or whatever we need that would be it for 
this session. Thank you.